Um. Uh. Um. Oh, gosh. You know, I didn't know anything about dorm life. I, I am a first generation college student, so the housing like flyer that USC sends out, it was everything I knew. I was reading through the clubs and what the students can be involved in, and when I came across the Latino floor. I knew I was going to be able to relate to the people that were going to be there like by nature. I knew from the beginning that being a Latino was so diverse, uh, and I wanted to meet other people like me. Because I figured that I would have a community here that I would feel comfortable with, a community that I could thrive in. My school was majority Asian and white, so I'd always felt kind of disconnected, I guess you could say, from my Latino side, so I just wanted to come somewhere where I was much more comfortable. You know, back in the 80s, you know, there wasn't too many of us Hispanics here, really, that I could see. And so being in with people of your own culture that kind of went to the same local schools, that, you know, had the same, you know, basically background and traditions and stuff, that was huge. Coming from a mostly Mexican environment to a university where hardly any Mexicans were on campus, um, it was very um, challenging, it was very difficult. From the people that graduated my high school year, there was about seven or eight of us that came here. And out of those seven or eight of us, I think three of us actually graduated. And out of those three of us, all three of us lived on campus. My cousin, his name is Cesar Lopez. Well, he's actually my cousin's husband, but whatever. I grew up with him like my cousin. And he said, you have to live on the floor. Um, you have to apply. He was the one that showed me where the application was. And, um, I didn't realize what that would mean for me, but I'm so glad I listened to him because it just made my USC experience what it is today. My high school counselor was a USC alum and she lived on the floor her first year, so she really told me about her experience on the floor and she encouraged me, especially knowing that I was the first one in my high school to go to USC. I think it was a really good decision. It really opened up my overall experience at USC and then those people that I met there at the floor were people that I've I still talk to and still hang out with now that I'm a senior. <laughs> I can't explain the floors, you know, to somebody that hasn't really lived there or experienced it as much as I would want to explain to them what it can do for you. I think we really complimented each other and, you know, also just made each other think differently and made each other look at things in a different way. The moment I got there, I knew I was in for one crazy ride. Um, my freshman year was one of the best years um, in my experience. I got to meet friends that were lifelong friends. I got to meet the love of my life. And so living on the floor sounded like an easy, an easy start, you know, and, and a good base to be able to develop from there. Not only did I get to meet the people from the floor, but like it's a the, the Latino floor community is like really tight within the other floors. So that you know people reached out to us that. You know, we never seen before, we were like heard of before, but they knew who we were. I was comfortable from the beginning, and so that made me just have a great foundation from for the next like four years that, or plus that I'll be here. So I think just having that support system, even though this is a big school, having that small community you can always go back to and always know you can lean on is truly one of a kind. You feel the sense of belonging, and you feel that sense of being a part of something that's greater than who you are. Like an official Latino floor event that was one of my hands down favorites was the Dia de los Muertos event because we had the chance to bring in kids from the community and just being able to interact with these children and their parents and the teachers and make them laugh and share my experience as a college student here was really powerful for me. No matter like how tired we were, we'd always like text each other Hey, where are you? Where is everyone? Let's go to dinner at like Cafe 84 or Parkside or EVK. Um, and we would join together our, our tables and that was amazing because people would look at us and be like, who are these people? Like, do they even know each other? And so now that everyone knew us, like, oh, that's the floor, that's the Latino floor. I, I would say that the Latino floor kind of continues after your freshman year. It makes sense to think that Latino floor will limit yourself, that you'll be in a bubble, but you can always find the time to get out of that. What I found was that in the end, I stuck with the Latino floor because that was that was my favorite. It gives you that confidence. It it makes you be able to be in this nice little 
comfort zone that you have so that you are able to express yourself as a person in college for the first time. If anything, it was a way for us to become part of the university. It wasn't a band of people who, you know, come on campus like um, when they have class. Like, no, we live here. This is our home. This is our community. Latino Florida is just a lot of support. And I imagine that it, it also did that in the 40 years back, you know, people coming together learning from each other how to progress. The people change, but the characters don't. People who aren't even involved in the Latino community get to know us and get to know like what we represent and who we are. And it's exciting to see even the alum, like where have they gone? Because I know they're successful people. We're living a legacy. So I would just like to thank everyone who came before me and everyone who contributed to making the Latino for what it is today. Especially because it's within USC history and I think it's a very important part of USC history that shouldn't go unnoticed. I know every year there's a struggle for something or other. Every year. You know, students, you know, we have to, you know, obviously take part in this and be proud of it, you know, and make sure that it keeps going for future generations to come. It's, it's something that you don't really see often at U.S. You don't see people connected with gener generations to come. They may be connected with their cohorts, but you don't, you don't really kind of get that sense of trans-generation um, kind of connections. So it's something that the Latino floor is very, very specific to and very special for. If there was one word that you could use to describe your experience on the floor, what word would you choose? Opportunistic. Unity. Loving. Inspiring, eye-opening, new beginnings, adventurous. That's more than one, but all of them in one. I think it would be comforting. Unforgettable, honestly. Enrichment. Family. Family. I would definitely say familia. Beautiful.